really cool accessories for the Nintendo Game Boy. This is the one that is pretty, pretty unusual. So I don't know how many of you guys have actually heard of this, but it's pretty, pretty rare. So this is called the iCard Pro uh, cartridge for the Nintendo Game Boy. As it's shown on the cartridge here, what this is, is a transceiver radio system as part of a real-time racetrack information communication system. So it's all essentially telemetry information that's being sent to and from these little cartridges when you're at a racetrack. Just imagine that, pretty cool, pretty unusual. I don't know how many people have actually heard of these, uh, but they're pretty cool. And it's made by iCardUS.com. That was the company, that was the webpage that you had it. So essentially you would have your little Game Boy, you would show up to you know the racetrack and you know the races would be getting set up to go and they would be handing out these little modules and signing them out you know whatever account you had because you had did have to return these so you would just insert it into the game boy like this and it would plug into the back of the game boy like that and you could then uh you know boot it up and there would be different menus that you could use and interface with to receive that information from all the races that were happening. These iCard units would have to be connected and communicating with what they called a TNS system or a timing and scoring system. So this was essentially like a radio transmission set up in a computer with a radio broadcasting uh, antenna. And they would have these installed and set up at the racetrack. And this was like a secondary uh, you know, radio communication unit uh, that would work and communicate on the same frequencies as these iCard modules. So you have to admit that this is a pretty unique, pretty rare device. Again, I don't know how many people have heard about this. So when we power it up, we have the Game Boy logo, and there we have the iCard start screen. Unfortunately, because we are not connected to the TNS system, that's the timing and scoring system, and that broadcasting antenna, uh, there's no information for us to receive, so there's nothing really shown on the screen here. I did go online and find some of the menus and the screens that uh, the system would normally provide if it was actually communicating with the TNS system. So as you can see here, we have some track information, control information. Uh, we have the driver info, the schedule, and some just basic uh, instructions there for operating uh, the iCard. And here you can see some lap times that would be captured during a race. So pretty cool, pretty awesome.